All right, let's see what we got. Hey geeks, what is going on? We are back in the construction zone right now. So I just got home from work, just got something cool in. I can't wait to put it on the boat. We're running out of daylight. So I'm gonna go do that right now. It's from Boat EFX. It is the graph locks, guys. This is something that's gonna protect your investment when it comes to those pricey, pricey, graphs you guys know i talk about security all the time and keeping yourself safe and that's a huge reason i bought the body effects steps you guys need to look into them there's a discount below by the way a link does help the channel out like i said guys it's not been too very long on one of my favorite lakes a gentleman fell off his boat while loading or unloading i don't remember and passed away so as we get older, especially me as a big boy, the back, the knees, the hips, guys, protect yourself. Check out those steps. I know some of you are going to look at them and say they're expensive, but if you've got a bass boat, be safe. Trust me, get them. All right. This, however, is to protect your graphs. It's a great new item that they just come out with, and I'm going to show you how to install it. Let's go. Okay, I got a little excited. We're not quite going out there to install it yet, but let me show you what's in the box. Check it out. This is the Graph Locks. This is a two pack. You can get them in one pack. I've got four graphs, so I went ahead and got me two of these, one for each. Now, if you really want to be secure and probably the best way to do things is put one on each side. So let me show you what comes in the box. Good, well packed. These instructions, now I'm gonna say, you need to hang on to these instructions, especially if you're ordering more than one. So you get the keys, the bolts, you get everything you need to install these and it's super simple to do. So it uses this kind of key to open up and there's something about these that I wanna tell you. There is a key number so that you can get, if you order two now, two later, one now, one later, whatever, you want to make sure you hold on to these instructions so that you get the same key. You can send a code into them and they can have it keyed up so that it all uses the same key. You don't have to have it keep up with two or three keys, even though it's always good to have a spare, right? Okay, so I took this one off my boat from earlier just to show you. There's a pin here and I'm going to show you how to install this. Basically, once it's installed, you just slide it up and push the button and it's in there and locked. You're not gonna be able to wiggle it. You're not gonna be able to unscrew it. I'm gonna show you actually how's the, how this works. It's super simple to put in and install. Let's go do it. All right, so let's talk about what comes in the box and the tools you'll need. You'll need a hammer, a Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of pliers because just in case you put the pin in the wrong hole, which I did the first time, you'll want to pull it out. Now it comes with uh, screws that are going to fit Lowrance, Garmin, Humminbird, you name it. You've got the screws and you've also got some uh, plastic washers in there to make sure that you're going to fit it up correctly, not screw too far into the hole. You want to make sure, you know, you kind of judge it up. That's kind of what I did there is just kind of make sure that I wasn't going to screw too far in to my unit and maybe possibly damage something. So you've got four holes on the back. Two middle ones are for Lowrance and Garmin. The two outside are for Humminbird. All this is in the instructions. Basically, you put the pin in, give it one simple tap. You'll see it kind of go in uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, and voila, you are ready to mount this bad boy. I know it's hard to see here, but you want to line that pin up in the slot of the bracket. Don't forget your plastic washers there. Then you just go ahead and screw it in. 
Get it nice and tight. Don't over tighten it, but good and tight so that it's not moving around. After that, you just go ahead and slide it up, push the button in. You don't want any play, and it ain't going anywhere. All right, y'all, I know the lighting ain't too great in here. It's not too flattering for the big man. But, you know, again, I'm in the construction zone right now. Guys, make sure you go check out Boat EFX and the graph logs. I'm going to get me four more put on each side to make sure I deter anybody from stealing those pricey investments whether I'm at a gas station or anywhere else. Now, one thing I will say is I keep this box and I make sure I keep my knobs in there so that I keep up with them. So I don't want to lose my original graph little screw knobs, okay? And I also keep up, this is where I keep my instructions so that I know what keying system I have when I order more. I appreciate you hanging out and watching this video. I know it's a little short, a little quick how-to for all you guys that have graphs. And it doesn't matter the price or the boat, man. Protect that stuff, people, nowadays. You know how it is. As I always say, guys, links in the description to everything you see here. It does help the channel out. It doesn't cost you a thing. And I very much appreciate you. But the best way to support the channel is watch. Watch 100% of the video it uh and and leave a comment and a thumbs up or even a thumbs down if you don't like that particular video leave a thumbs down it actually helps believe it or not all that being said you know i love to bring you guys products for your boats for your rods for your reels yada 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 this is a product that i'm a super fan of so uh make sure you go check them out and as always questions comments in the comment section below you guys know i love to talk about fishing with you like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe and make sure you ring that bell so you can watch these videos, let you know when they come out. But as always, you guys rock.